All right, good morning guys and welcome to the city of Ranong here in southern Thailand. Super excited to be here. As you can see by our surroundings, it is so green, it is so beautiful. Right now we are heading to some hot springs which are pretty much like a 10 minute walk from our hotel. Pretty much in the city. It's 7 a.m. I still think there's going to be lots of people there. So I say we go and check it out and then just explore whatever else Renong has to offer. First time in Southern Thailand. What a place to start, honestly, it's so green. Like, outside of the city, all you can see is these green mountains. Jungle. It's really beautiful. So I think they're down here. This is where all the football is going. Right, we are at the hot springs now, and there's like two sections, so this side, you can pay 50 baht to enter like a proper little pool section there's a couple of different pools lockers and all that and I think this side's free so here we've got a super hot one I'm gonna take a look at in a second but then we've also just got like just the small pools because on the wall where is it on the wall it says 65 degrees Celsius which is obviously extremely hot and then yeah as Lee just pointed out it must be hot because it tells you you can't boil eggs in here like anyone would come and just try and boil an egg in the hot spring. It tells you what's in the hot spring in Thai, so obviously I can't read it. And it says don't throw coins in. So they're just sitting in where everyone just kind of got like their ankles in the hot spring. See how hot it is. Oh, it's nice. What do you have? Oh, it's really hot actually. <laughs> but like a pleasant hot knot. Absolutely roasting. Still probably like 40 degrees or something. What do you think, Leash? It's quite hot, isn't it? But as you can see, it's what, 7 a.m.? And I reckon from like 6, 5, 6 a.m., it's packed. There's loads of people down there. I mean, until I started talking rubbish, it was really, really peaceful. There's like temples behind the springs the green jungle this place is so peaceful there's just loads of locals here I haven't seen a foreigner yet I mean it is like 7am so it's still a little early but you can see on camera just like the atmosphere of this place and it's so cool I think if you're a local, they must just come every day for a chat. And obviously all the health benefits that come with this water. Even ourselves at Ankle Bath. What a spot. We need to go and check the big bad hot one out, which you definitely can't sit in. Because there's no one in it. I'll take a look in a second. So here is this main pool, which I think is about a million degrees. Any, any lawn, lawn mag? Mate. Oh no. Ah, okay. Let's have a look. Ah, so this one's super hot. This is 65 degrees. Ah, that that my that my Lawn. Lawn. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, look, <laughs> lawn mag. <laughs> that is so hot. You can really smell the sulfur here as well. So I think he's actually pumping this hot water out into another pool. What a cool little local spot. Proper cool spot here. It's well cool. People are really nice as well. He's probably just thinking what I'm on about. But really nice. Yeah, and then uh, just look at the surroundings though. This is like in the jungle. Beautiful. Oh yeah. So my mate is actually, he just piped the super hot spring into this one to heat this one up a little bit more. I think that's what he's doing. He must be, yeah, because this one's hot, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> but yeah, this stuff. This stuff is like, go on, just drip your finger on it quickly. Oh. 
How hot is that? That's really hot. It's like boiling water. It's so hot. Mm. You can see all the smoke coming off it, all the steam. It's crazy hot. And what's inside it? Oh, it's literally just a spring. What do you have? What a little spot. If you are in Ranong, this is well worth checking out. <laughs> Everyone's just saying it's so hot. Ah. <laughs> What's he doing with this? Why has everyone got the pipes out? Oh, he's cracked it. He's got all the bottles, so he's probably just going to fill them all up with the hot water and take it away. I wonder if you can drink it. Usually you can drink the hot spring water and it's really good for your belly. It tastes a bit horrible, but it's usually really good for you. <laughs> he's cracked it. Oh, mate, it's just showing up. You've got to, like... Do the technique you would if you were like siphoning petrol out. And then everyone's filling them up. Oh. This is well funny. He's got a big, big, bloody 18 litre barrel there. Ah. Do, do, do you drink? Drink? Die. Die. Drink? Kamatan. 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 Oh no, don't drink, don't drink. Oh, just for washing your body. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, my die. Okay, you can't drink, you can't drink. Oh, so, that tells you what's in it, yeah. So, you can't drink it. <laughs> Good job, I didn't have a sip of it. Everyone just takes it home just to like, just to, like wash the muscles. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. To like, obviously. If you've got sore muscles, whatever. Achy joints, whatever. Yeah, really nice place. Oh, just clocked it now, so people will just literally rock up and get one of these hoses that are just here for everyone to use and they'll just fill the jugs up, whatever, and take it home. Which is so cool, because it's free for everyone. There is no entrance fee for this main bit, which is, which is amazing, isn't it? It should be free, it's amazing. So yeah, there's the big one, then there's one, two, three, which are all free to use. And we'll just check this one out here while we're here. Let's not pass the opportunity. Oh, it's just as hot as the other one. It's extremely hot. Oh my word. It's like a hot bath, like when you make the bath too hot. Oh, it's painful. That is actually painful. It's probably because the tap's so close to my feet. So hot. It honestly burns you. Yeah, leash can usually like do really well in the hot water. I one minute and I'm gone. That's too hot. But yeah, what a place is what I'm trying to say. Look at the beauty of it. Under the trees, these massive trees. We we're just about to leave now. We discovered something really cool. We just seen everyone led on this floor. And I'm like, what, what are these people doing? And it's a hot floor, I think, so we'll just have a look. Is it hot? It's warm, it's warm. Where is warm? Oh, so there's certain spots which are hotter than others, like, as you can see over there. Yeah, what a cool place. They're sat right on the, the vent that comes out. So I think everyone must just go and lie on this hot floor, so let's give it a go, eh? And the river's right behind us. Like what a place for a hot springs. Yeah, this is well nice. It's like a naturally heated stone floor. It's actually, oh, it's well nice. <laughs> it's really nice. It's really warm. Oh. What a little spot. I'm gonna knock the camera off and lie here for half an hour. <laughs> Try and not pass out. I love it. I just love how everyone can come here. Like all the grannies could just get their hot, hot stone therapy. <laughs> <laughs> this floor is well nice, honestly, but it's so hot. I think if we let here for any longer, we'd just be dripping in sweat. If you come here, come very early in the morning, because I reckon in the afternoon, it'd be so hot. It's so nice and hot. You can just like lie down, like heat up all your joints. Well, nice. 
proper cool little local spot. You can see everyone's on it. And it's free. Ah, yeah. Don't sleep here for longer than half an hour. Lay a canvas or cloth before you lie down. No food or alcohol. Shoes off. So what do you have? I need lawn, lawn. Oh, sorry, I was scared to touch that, but it's actually, you can touch it. Oh, it's really hot. It's so hot. Is this also really hot? Oh yeah, you could just sit on that. It'd be well nice to sit on. Let's give it a try. Oh, that's really nice. That it just like really heats your bum up. It's like a extreme heated seat. Extreme heated seat. Wow, that's hot. Oh. What a spot. What a spot. Love this place. Perfect morning, that. But I think now we definitely need some food, especially after all the heat. It made me really hungry. We're going to try and grab some really good food. Maybe some curry. Curry and roti. Oh, some super cute pups. So do you have? Oh, she's nice. Yeah. This is the mama and she's actually friendly, yeah. isn't she? Hello. Your pups are cute. <laughs> they are cute. Oh. oh, they're all running off though. Hey. Hey. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. A little girl or a boy? No, it's a little girl. <laughs> so cute. Cat culture and I have. Maybe no name. I think it's just a street doggo, isn't it? That's well cute. Can't you hold it? No. Oh, then little peach. <laughs> Can you trust that little girl? Got There's all these big ducks and on the other side there's a couple of cockerels. Oh mate, it's just floating down, carefree, not caring the world. The legend from our hotel has offered to take us for breakfast, so our breakfast spot. We're heading to a curry and roti place. We're on the back of this bike, hanging on for the alive. Place we were going to go to is actually short, we're absolutely gutted, but we're being taken somewhere else, we'll see where. <laughs> Come on. Oh, legend. Couple so mark up. Goodbye. Absolute hero. So, the, the place we're going to, I think, short, so we come somewhere else. So, where do you have? So, we've come for curry and roti. Never eaten this before, so we'll just see what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like absolute near death on the back of that bike. My legs kill. Is it? Which one? Is it? Yeah. All right, so this is Roti Bangui, and our hotel owner said this is his favorite spot in town. The curry is here. We are just waiting on the roti. So I have got a beef curry and it looks so good. There's huge chunks of beef in there. We've got a big chunk of potato. It looks well good. It looks oily, it looks great. So much beef in there. We've just got the chicken curry. Again, just a big piece of potato. A huge, huge chunk of delicious chicken. It's massive. We've got a small each and yeah, a couple of rotis each. Let's just try this curry though, before the roti comes. Okay. Pop on cap. There is the roti, that looks so good, doesn't it? It looks flaky and delicious. It's just come off the hot tub there. The hot tub. The hot tub. Let's just try the curry. Here goes nothing. Mm. 
Oh, that is so good. It's got a serious kick to it. It just smashed me in the back of the throat. It's spicy, but delicious. Super oily. We've not eaten anything like this in so long. Look at that. Look at the beef. Let's try Alicia's chicken. Oh, that looks good. Not too thick. Let's give that a taste. Oh, that's really good. Really creamy. Creamy like yellow curry, it's delicious. That is well good. I should try some of that beef and potato. See what the beef's like in the curry. It's so good. You're not eating anything like this in so long. That curry is so, so rich. Let's try this. Oh, that's so hot. The roti is so crispy. Mm. That is phenomenal. Give that a big dip. Oh, yeah. Honestly. Such a welcome change. It's so, so tasty. The first time we've eaten anything like this in Thailand. Oh yeah, it's really good. Look at that, that looks so good. You've got the potato, the beef, the curry, the roti. Mm. Oh my. That roti is so flaky, so crispy, but soft in the middle. The beef, oh. This is so good. Honestly. And there's a lot of beef in there. Let's just taste that chicken meat in there. It's delicious. Mm. But, my favourite is the beef. Because it's so rich, but with that, it's also really heavy, the chicken's lighter. So we're gonna get a little bit of a backstage look at the curries here. Wow, these are absolute massive pots. Oh wow, aloe man. Looks so good. And ani guy. This is the chicken. Oh wow. Just, just the song or oh, oh any ah oh is it the, the roti dough oh so here's all the fresh roti dough okay super good little spot okay really really good that looks so good I think it's a hundred baht for a sport which is a cracking price hundred baht 165, okay. Cup on cap? 165. 165 baht. And here is the Rotti Master. There he is. Look at that, it looks so good. Crispy Rotti. I'm full now. It's absolutely dumb, man. Well full. It's because the food is just so rich. But yeah, this is Rotti Bagnui. We were told it's the best in town and it was delicious, so. Really good start. Right guys, I swear, Thailand has the greatest coffee shops in the world. I need to show you this place. We've got Americano, Latte. Every coffee in Thailand always seems to be around 50, 60 baht. Really good. But we came here for the view. Now look at this, look where we sat. Like we're on the river. There's a hammock down there. I'm about to go and check that out. There's beanbags, yeah. I'm gonna go and check them out as well, but they're occupado. We've got this nice little seating area with more beanbags. Just super chilled out, proper like a homely feel. And here you look at a place like this, you think, oh it looks fancy, it looks like a bit of a gimmick. No, the coffee's always really good. Always really good. It's like proper proper coffee. 
And yeah, look. Look at this. What a place. It's like going for a bit of a dip in the river. And then you know I'm going to check that hammock out. So yeah, there's these bean bags which are taken, but just sat on the phones in there, not, not even embracing the nature. What's that all about? Let's try and have a doing this, eh? What's it like? Hey, it's quite stable. Oh, oh did you see it sink? Am I too heavy for this? What? It's pretty much in the river now. <laughs> I'm on the rocks. I thought I was going in the drink then. Yeah, maybe this needs to be lifted up, or maybe this is for kids and not people my size. Definitely not. But yeah, you can just like sit in the river. How nice is that? Got a swing over there. Again, it's one of them. It's how people are just mental on taking pictures. So there's always got to be 29 photo ops in the coffee shop. But yeah, it's so nice. Just had to show you that quick. I say quick, I've probably been waffling on. But yeah, what a little place. I love them. You'd think they'd be crap, wouldn't you? You'd think, oh yeah, it looks like a, just like a stupid fancy Instagram picture spot. No, they're always actual good coffee shops. They're like locally grown beans. They're always locally roasted. Always delicious. I'm on the